didn't start until they beat Alabama. He said, we're coming. They came in today and he, got the job done. He measured everything against Alabama. He knew he, there was no way to sneak around them. They had to go through them. He told his team, as we said earlier, I told them all week, we're the better team. Today, they were. Competition on this field. He does not have to hang his head as he limps toward the locker room after another four touchdown performance. Nothing but respect for that yep. man. He played his heart out, and today that guy and his team was just a little bit better. The winning coach is with Jamie. Coach, it took eight years, and you knew this yes. one was going to take 60 minutes. We know what it was like to watch, but what was this one like to coach? You know what? It's a great game to be in, a great rivalry. I am so happy for the state of Louisiana and all the LSU fans and our football team and our coaching staff. They worked very hard for this victory. It's a must-deserve victory for our football team and our great state of Louisiana and our great university in LSU. Joe Burrow has changed the way this team runs its offense. What does this do for his legacy? as an LSU quarterback. Hey, you know, he's one of the best we've had here. But we still got four games left, and we're going down the road. We're going to try to win them every every game, and we're going to bring a championship back to Louisiana. Clyde edwards E. Lair carried that Alabama group just now for the first down. How did that embody the toughness today? You know, Clyde is 6'4", 270. <laughs> and uh, he has a great mindset about himself. He has the heart of a champion. I am so proud of Clyde. Where can this team go from here, Coach? We'll see. We've got to go beat Ole Miss next week. We'll take it one game at a time. Congratulations. Go Tigers. Clyde edwards alaire is right here. I'll grab him. Coach just said you're 6'4", 270. Is that how big your heart is in a game like today? Uh, I feel like my heart can't be measured. Uh, you know, growing yeah! up. <laughs> I love that guy. So you can hang here too. Yeah, yeah come on. I mean, I feel, like, I feel like my heart can't be measured. Uh, you know, always a lot of doubt as far as us as a team, us as a state. And, you know, me personally, myself, I've always been talked down on height, everything else. So, you know, being able to, to help my boys out, get a team for my, for my, get a win for my team and my, and my state, man, it's, it's something unbelievable. Baton Rouge kid, congratulations. Thank you so much. Joe, I'll talk with you. Is this why you come and play in the SEC? This is why, this is why I decided to transfer. This is why I decided to come down here and play with this guy and, and all those guys over there. You know, these are, these are the games you live for and you work so hard for. You hit a lot of speed bumps along the way, not just at LSU. When you envisioned your life and your football career turning out this way, is this what you dreamed of? You know, I thought I thought I would be on this stage. I didn't think I would be in this jersey, though. You know, it's been it's been a bumpy road. It's been a long one, but I'm, I couldn't be in a better place. They call a draw play for you at the end there. You get the first down, you stand up. Was that your Heisman moment? <laughs> I don't know about all that. No, we're not. We're not done yet. It's game game nine. We got we got three more regular seasons than the SEC championship. So, you know, this was never our goal. You know, we we got bigger goals than this. How good does this feel, you too? Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Can't wait to get back home. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Great job, Jamie. Both of those guys tell a great story. Don't let anybody else define you. Yep. Joe had to transfer. Edward Dallaire started out. Nobody believed him. You determine who you are. In that interview with Coach Ogeron, you could tell by the catch in that raspy voice and the tear in his yeah, eye. He was so this means a lot. And the two guys with the bad ankles coming in both played their hearts out today. As Gary said, nothing but respect. So, the West... It's not one yet, but LSU takes a giant step in that direction at 5-0 and and 9-0 and overall. And Alabama loses for the first time in 32 games at home. And that's time for the play of the game presented by Jersey Mike Subs. And as Jamie asked, was it your Heisman moment? Joe said, I don't know about all of that. But that 18-yard run certainly set it up. This is how Chris Blair called it for the LSU Radio Network. 
Burrow lines him up. Here's a quick snap. Burrow keeping off the left edge with Rue inside the 20. 15, 10, slug down at the six-yard line of the Alabama Crimson Tide. And that got it close enough for Edwards Elair to do the rest. And the final touchdown. And what a special game it was. We called it coming in the game of the year. Did it live up to the billing? I think so. That's going to wrap it up from Tuscaloosa. LSU wins 46 to 41. It's been fun. Thanks for being with us. For Gary Danielson and Jamie Erdahl. Brad Nessler playing so long from Tuscaloosa. Final score. Tigers 46, tied 41. College football postgame show presented by Rocket Mortgage is up next after these messages. A classic in Tuscaloosa. Good night.